Alright, so before this video begins, I hope you guys are all staying safe right now and making the most of some of the free time that you guys may have. Anyways, as you guys know, iPad OS 13.4 just released and with it a bunch of new support for the mouse in iPad OS. So in this video, I'm going to show you the mouse support that iPad OS brings to the iPad 6th generation with my Logitech MX Master and we're just going to go through some of the different features that this mouse update has brought. So if you guys don't know how to connect your Bluetooth mouse to your iPad, I have a video talking about the best Bluetooth mouse and I highly suggest that you guys check that video out because I go over a lot of the settings and how to actually set up your mouse with your own iPad. Now, some of these features have changed and we're going to take a look at that right now. So, as you guys can see, the mouse cursor is right here on the screen and if I just go over to settings, you can see that in the general settings, there's now actually a portion for trackpad and mouse so that you don't have to do any of the digging around that you had to do previously in assistive touch. Rather, it's just right up front in the general settings, just proving my point that it's not an afterthought and it's actually a really big part of iPadOS now. So if we click on trackpad and mouse, now over here, you're gonna see that you have a couple of customizable features such as the tracking speed, whether you want natural scrolling or not, and even secondary click. And secondary click is something that I wanna talk about for a little bit. So if I go over to Safari, you can see that if I actually right click this buy button, it shows you all these different features that you can actually do, such as opening it in the background, opening it in a new private window, and just a bunch of different features that you can do, showing you that it's an actual right click. With the last mouse iteration, you had to actually customize the mice buttons to do what you wanted. But now you can see that the secondary click is an actual right click that you would expect on your own computer. So you guys may have saw that instead of clicking the, the home screen or swiping on the screen at all, I just moved my cursor down and I just went home like that. And that's the next feature of the mouse update that I wanna talk about. It's the control that you actually have of your iPad. So if you wanna get into multitasking, you just slide down and then continue sliding down with your mouse. And you can see that multitasking opens up right over here. And it works the exact same way with notifications. You just bring your mouse up and then continue moving up and notifications is brought over right over there. So this is a really convenient way of accessing your home bar because I know that the iPad Pros have the actual line that you can click, but with the iPad 6th generation, you don't actually have that. So it's really convenient that you can just bring it down and get into multitasking or go straight home just like that. And you guys may also notice that the cursor actually transforms. And right over here, you can see that it turns into a cursor when I click on the URL. And that's just another way that it's really integrated into the iPad. And something else that's pretty cool is that you can access whatever slide over apps that you have just by again moving your mouse over right to the side and then continuing to actually move over and as you can see it can open up the different apps that you have and you can just go through and edit that and just choose whatever app you want and once you're done you can just use your mouse to again slide over and get rid of it and then you're done. So if I come up here to the control center, you can see that I can just click right over here and I have access to my control center very easily. Now, right now, this is just proprietary to Apple, but hopefully in the future, other developers and other apps will take notice of this and integrate it into their own apps. Something else you guys may have noticed is the scrolling. Now, if you guys remember with the last iteration of having a mouse on the iPad, scrolling was garbage. garbage. Like it was super sticky, it was stuttering all the time. And now with this, it feels more like your finger. Obviously my mouse makes it so that it sticks, but as soon as I turn that off, the scrolling is just extremely smooth just like as if it were your finger. So you can expect to get the scrolling out, and this is something that really bugs me about having a mouse on iPad OS. The scrolling was just super annoying, but now you have actual proper scrolling that you'd be used to. Something else that this is really useful for is text editing. So if you type out something on the screen, then you can see that once I bring my cursor close to it, it actually conforms into a line that you can use to quickly edit your text and it just makes it so much easier to make changes and there's definitely benefits to having this because it's so much more clear, so much more precise and could make your typing experience so much better and so much faster. So just as a quick little recap, you don't need to do any digging in settings. It's right up there in the front for you to access your mouse controls. And it shows that Apple is actually caring about the mouse and wants you to use it, not just an accessibility feature and an add-on like it was previously. Next up 
If you guys want to see how to connect a Bluetooth mouse to your iPad, I highly suggest that you go watch that video so that way you know how to connect it and how to get started with your mouse. Next, we saw again that it's not just an afterthought, but it's really integrated into the iPad OS, like when it conforms to different buttons or when it even conforms to the apps once it gets near it and it kind of like magnetically uh, attaches to the app whenever you want to select it. And of course, secondary click is finally fixed and it's an actual right click that you can use just like you would expect on a computer, not just pressing and holding or trying to use another touch-based feature just stuck onto a mouse, it now actually has its own features that you can use. And finally, with the scrolling, you can see that it's way more natural, it's way more fluid, and it's not so stuttery and sticky like it was with the last mouse iteration. It's finally smooth, just like you would expect if you're scrolling with your finger. And the great part about this mouse and trackpad update is that everything for the trackpad is essentially same, maybe even better for a trackpad. It's all basically the same. You have your basic, I mean, obviously this is not connected to my iPad, but I'm just showing you for reference that it's all basically the same controls and you even have gestures such as pinching to zoom, three fingers up for home, just like a Mac trackpad, swiping left or right to switch screens, and if you're already familiar with a Mac, then you're gonna find that these gestures really come naturally. And really having all these different features with iPad OS and this mouse update is just giving you a lot more control with your iPad and how you actually wanna control it and possibly even change up the way that you use your iPad to be more productive, get more done, and just interact with it in a much better way that you might be used to. So hopefully this quick video just helped you out with understanding some of the features of this update and if it's brought you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. Again, guys, stay safe during this time. I'm Matt, and thanks for watching.